I first went to sea when I was um, 18 years old. I actually hitchhiked to New Orleans in 1968. Uh, joined the Merchant Marines, volunteered for a ship going to Vietnam, and there began my love of the sea. Tried several things after coming back from uh, Vietnam. Tried to uh, actually, I realized it wasn't wasn't long before I realized I wasn't going to be happy unless I was back at sea. So later in life, I uh, went back to sea, got my sea time in, passed my Coast Guard exams, and got a 200 ton domestic 500-ton international license. I've worked in, uh, out of Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, two-year hitch in the Caribbean, worked in Mexico, and every port between Mobile Bay and Aransas Pass in the Gulf of Mexico. Can't imagine doing anything else in my life. I retired in 2009 and uh, started doing swamp tours on Caddo Lake. Wow. This has been great. If I'd known it was going to be this much fun, I'd have been doing it long before now. <laughs> Cattle Lake is one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's made up of the largest stand of bald cypress on planet Earth. It's uh, one of the largest water forests, the most beautiful water forest in the world. It's the only natural lake in Texas. Almost 200 lakes in the state of Texas, and Caddo is the only naturally formed lake in the entire state. It's also one of the shallowest lakes in the country. And they theorize it's possibly the oldest lake in the United States. One little fact backs it up to a certain degree, and that fact is there's 87 species of fish in Cato Lake. It's the only lake in the country that has every species that's indigenous to the warm waters of the south. Unusual. Uh, 217 species of birds on Cato Lake, 87 species of fish, 27 species of freshwater mussels, most of them are edible, uh, 10 species of turtles, 287 species of trees and shrubs, and the list goes on. Howard Hughes got his start on Cattle Lake with that rotary drill bit. First well ever drilled with a rotary drill bit was right here on Cattle Lake by Howard Hughes. He went on to become one of the wealthiest men in the world. They got a start right here on Cattle Lake at the beginning of the offshore industry. Anyway, it's a sight to see. Um, it's uh, enchanted. Mystical, magical, primeval, prehistoric. It's breathtakingly beautiful. I know when I first started, I thought, oh, Ron, you're going to be so bored after a while. Hasn't happened yet, folks. You never get tired of seeing this beautiful lake. People return time and time again. I have so many repeat customers, and I can't blame them. I do it five times a day and never get tired of it. Uh, at this point in my life, I just really consider myself as having the best job in the world. <laughs>